sociopath. What does it mean and why is everyone talking about it? Sociopath is boiled down someone who is m just more savage. <laughs> Thank you for the clarification, Logan. Very cool. A sociopath is just someone a more savage, everyone. Now, this topic is being widely discussed on YouTube thanks to Shane Dawson's latest video, The Dark Side of Jake Paul. It's got 50 million views and it was number one on trending for a while. Now, Shane talks about sociopaths in this series and tries to answer the question, is Jake Paul a sociopath? Now, this video rubbed me the wrong way and a lot of other people. And here is why. To be clear, when Shane announced that he was going to make a video series on Jake Paul, I thought, wow, that's actually really interesting because Shane usually digs deeper with his topics and he actually interviews people so to uncover more information. Like the TanaCon thing, he actually interviewed Tana. So yeah, I was really excited about it until he said it was going to be an eight-part series. Eight parts. Why? How can you make an eight-part series on Jake Paul? And watching the latest video, you realize it's because it's not about Jake Paul. This video called The Dark Side of Jake Paul has hardly anything to do with Jake Paul. It's a 45 minute sit down with this uh, therapist talking about sociopath and sort of alluding to Jake being one. Which is kind of a sociopathic thing to do. <laughs> If you ask me, I don't know. Trying to reach that someone might be a sociopath without having to met them, I don't know. It's kind of weird. Now watching through this video, you realize Jake is 100% a sociopath. Shane is a sociopath. I'm a sociopath. You're a sociopath. Everyone is a sociopath. Because the definition of what a sociopath is was so inc incredibly vague that uh, it fits anyone. For example, They drive fast, probably. Mm-hmm. <laughs> They drive fast. Have you ever driven fast? Sociopath. Do things that harm the Usually. body. They don't yeah. care. Yeah, because they don't care. Tattoos. Probably. So anyway, guys. <laughs> I know these are just examples, but there were so many of them. Uh, my favorite, my favorite is this one. I gotta meet a giraffe. <laughs> Weird. <laughs> I mean, this picture that looks like two fucking straight up sociopaths planning their next move. Right. Oh, the caption. Let's go. <gasps> the caption. <laughs> Is he joking? I don't understand. It was before their boxing fight. Like, <laughs> he put a caption, let's go. He's a sociopath. <laughs> they also had uh, another one that was really good. Uh, For instance, the other day I was in my car and I'm driving and there's this little old lady that started to get into the crosswalk and I was like, honey, you got like 12 seconds. I'm worried. <laughs> I hope people wait for you and like pay attention. Right. You know, a, a sociopath would just be like, ugh. Like, it wouldn't even, it wouldn't worry, there's no worry for her. You ever scoffed at an old lady being slow? I got bad news for you. <laughs> then they dropped the big number. The big whole, uh, the whole thing with the video, I think, that a lot of people latched on to. Uh, and for a video with this many views, it's kind of annoying how this is what's gonna be spread around from now on, probably from a lot of people. How realistic is it for me to know one? They say one in 25. That was like one in. So Shane asks how many people are sociopaths and, and uh, she says one in 25. Now the source I could find for this was from author Martha Stout who says that one in 25 Americans secretly has no conscience and can do anything at all without feeling guilty called the sociopath next door. Now this is clearly put on the front of a book to sell more uh, books. <laughs> It's on, it's on the cover to intrigue people to sell more because it sounds interesting. Now, what I found was that 3% of males and 1% of females have APD, anti-personality disorder. And this is mentioned in the video. But just because you have anti-personality disorder does not make you a sociopath. I understand what Shane is trying to do uh, is to draw more people in and make this more interesting. 
uh, painting this picture that anyone can be a sociopath and anyone can be, you know, you never know, uh, which makes it more interesting. I get it. But when you're talking about mental health, you kind of have to be more responsible than that. The video constantly uses this bizarre stock footage edits in them with this creepy background music. Well, there's a bar right there. Yeah. Like if we walk into that bar, there's probably what, 100 people? So that means there's four? Why isn't that? It's like talked about. Jesus! Is that a fake reaction enough for you? <laughs> they then talk about Logan Paul's famous forest video. To me, it was like, oh, this is sad. I'll put a sad song. Mm -hmm. So not saying he's a sociopath, but like that's something that a sociopath would do, right? Be like, totally. oh. Yeah. If somebody didn't know like how, how to be emotionally, they would just go to the audio library and like wait, literally wait. click the emotions. Just pick the emotion wait. that they want people to feel. Do they not know? Like, would they... If, okay, if a YouTuber is a sociopath and they're making an apology video. And I first want to apologize to my brother. So they just type in sad and they pick one? So like, they just like Google emotions and like put them in the video? Uh, <laughs> You do the same thing. Everyone does this. If you need a sad song, you search for sad music so you can find the sad song. <laughs> Just like in the sad part of your video, you added sad music. Or multiple. Yeah. So then it's mm -hmm. like, that person is never gonna experience like the joy of like having sex for the first time or like getting your first car, or, like going to an amusement. They don't like... And I don't know, maybe it's just me, but I think adding creepy music while talking with a therapist about mental health is kind of a sociopathic thing as well. Now, Shane's response to this so was... The reason I made it scary and creepy was so people would watch it. Because if I made it like a standard video where I just sat there and was like, oh, interesting, they don't feel. Okay, next topic, people wouldn't care. And I disagree. But then again, I don't get 15 million views from my videos. I just think some topics, you either do them right or you just don't touch them. The video is called The Dark Side of Jake Paul. People are gonna watch it regardless, I'm pretty sure. And it didn't even have anything to do with Jake or hardly anything. When it comes to this type of person, or when it comes to this disorder, you don't want to X, Y, Z. You can think about that? I mean, you don't- The video uses uh, clips of randomly of YouTubers while talking about uh, this whole thing. You know, not just Jake Paul, but others as well. And if you have to be kind of a sociopath to be a YouTuber. Honestly, are you sure. a sociopath? I don't know. <laughs> we all know David's a psychopath. <laughs> this is a surprise, y'all. Exactly. I'm also not a sociopath. Or have some type of, you know, personality. And not until 11 minutes and 30 seconds in the video, you get this disclaimer. All clips shown on YouTubers, actors, and even myself are just being used for context. I'm 100% not insinuating that any people shown are sociopath. Usually you add these at the beginning of the video. But, uh, that, I don't know. That's just what I think. I like I, I don't know. It just made me laugh out loud. Like, after dragging all these YouTubers. By the way, guys, uh, not insinuating anything. <laughs> My favorite one, however, is this one. They're mimicking. They are honing their craft, kind of. So, if they're not very good at it, <laughs> they won't elicit the right response out of you. Her fans are not having it. Because they, they don't Once really again, have it just a yeah. clip for context. It has nothing to do with what we're saying. We're not attacking this person. Just for context. <laughs> just for context. Just for context clips as well was used with actual killers, actual murderers uh, like O.J. Simpson and uh, I don't know who this is, but will you kill again? If the opportunity arises, I hope so. So it's kind of blurring the line between not just YouTubers, but also sociopath and killers as well. Just because you're a sociopath doesn't mean you're a killer or that you want to hurt people. And this was sort of, sort of reinforced by the therapist as well in the video talking about impulsivity and that that can lead you to become more dangerous. Which is what makes them a little dangerous. I always think impulsive is like a dangerous thing for both them and the people around them, you know? when a simple Google c will tell you the opposite. While it's common to think sociopaths and psychopaths are inherently dangerous, this is more a construct of TV drama than a true reflection of the disorder. It is definitely possible, but it's not an inherent characteristic. And Shane is doing the same thing here, sort of overly dramatizing the topic for the sake of drawing people in. So your only regret is that the torture didn't go on anymore. Right, and I regret not killing my other victim. 
the weirdest thing about the video is that the therapist, they're referring to really icky or really nasty or gross behavior. I'm feeling sick. <laughs> <laughs> it's um, really gross. And it's just creepy. I literally... My heart. It's really gross, I know. Isn't that kind of weird for a therapist to do? I don't know. I understand not liking it. I don't either, but for a therapist to describe a mental disorder as really icky, really gross, I don't know. That's kind of weird to me. Now the cherry on the top, uh, after this video, you know, has described everyone as a sociopath. Basically anyone falls under this category. Uh, it's also sponsored by BetterHelp. And today's episode is brought to you by BetterHelp. This is something I really think is great and something I actually really believe in. You're a sociopath. By the way, this video is sponsored by online therapy. <laughs> also this video, enter the coupon code SHANE for your online therapy today. By the way guys, everyone is a sociopath. Enter the code SHANE for your cheaper online therapy today. Now this is one of those online therapy apps, they've been becoming more and more popular. A lot of people have said they were great for them, but they also get a lot of bad reviews, saying that they don't work at all. Uh, and if they work for you, great, but it's kind of questionable to promote one of these services. I did, I think, uh, a year ago, and they asked me to talk about them, and I'm like, okay, fine. But I would never want to take money from it. I would never want to take money for a mental health app. It just doesn't feel right. And I'm probably the most morally skewed person ever. So for me to come up with that conclusion and not Shane, it's kind of weird. Now, after all this, there was a bit of backlash. I mean, it has a million likes and 30,000 dislikes. That's, that's hardly anything. I think most people just enjoy the video and I think that's fine uh, but Shane did make an apology where he said I'm sorry if I offended anybody oh no no oh no 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 Shane uh, this is not it okay I'm sorry if I offended anyone said in lengthy snapchat video Shane if you need help with apology videos just reach out I'm really good at them this is a big no-no Number one, I'm sorry if I offended anybody. If you are offended for someone... I'm sorry you were offended. <laughs> I know he doesn't mean it like that. It's just bad, badly worded. Um, the therapist made a response as well. Hey everybody, I find myself getting bullied in comments. And I know I've opened myself to a whole nother group of people. And that's fine, and I'm an adult. And like, if I have to block you, that's what I'm gonna do. Because I don't have to allow you to hang out in my pool. Great response. These are great responses. Guys, just please, just come to me, all right? If you need help with apologies, I'll, I'll set you up. This ain't it. This ain't it. You're making it worse! We had like five hours of footage, so I really cut it down um, and try to make it entertaining, which is my fault. I should have maybe just left it very plain. I wanted to make it entertaining, but but at the at the core of it, what I wanted people to know is like an actual sociopath does not care. Is it okay to dehumanize someone just because they don't care if you do? I don't really agree with that. I think Shane made a mistake of starting off this series asking if is Jake Paul a sociopath? It's either yes or no. And, and you know, maybe to the benefit of the doubt, maybe he uncovered something that we don't know about Jake that uh, hasn't been told before. Uh, there's a lot more episodes coming up to this series, so to remain optimistic, that could be the case. Uh, I don't know if Jake is a sociopath because I'm not a psychologist and I can't evaluate him. But a lot of these topics are gray areas. While we like to say that someone either yes or no is a sociopath, most of the time that that's not the case. And uh, funny enough, Logan reached out and made a video talking about just this, starting off with the classic Lesai. Dear Shane Dawson. How to start a heavy topic. You gotta say it out. 99% of the time, someone is not a sociopath or not a sociopath. My opinion is there's a sociopathic spectrum at which point some people lie higher on it than others. And by the way, some of the biggest businessmen in the world could be considered sociopathic. Uh, Mark Jobs, nope, Steve Zuckerberg. <laughs> Logan actually makes a lot of sense here. How about that? Ah, never thought I'd say that. Then again, he also did say, uh... The original point what I'm trying to say is Shane! You... You are scaring your young and interminable audience. You are scaring your young, impressionable audience. 
Logan Paul, everybody. Logan Paul. The least self-aware human being on the planet. <laughs> Shane Dawson, how dare you scare these children? Now, Logan, for the um, hundredth time, so many people told me before the famous for his video, oh, Logan, he's like the cool one of the polls. He's like the, the nice one, the less crazy one. And I always said, nah, nah, that ain't it. He's a real crazy one. And then the Forrest video came out and I'm like, I told you, I freaking told you. I was even quick to point out like Logan Paul is a sociopath. Because if you look at YouTube, it's a shame because it's, it's such an interesting topic. This whole thing is an interesting topic. And now it's just gone completely, gotten completely mixed up. Uh, I think the line between YouTubers and sociopath is really interesting because if you look at YouTube, it sort of rewards sociopathic behavior. And I think that's why it's so easy for me, for example, to spot it in other YouTubers. While for a lot of other people who are not aware of it, it will go just go unnoticed. For example, you understand as a YouTuber what kind of thought process went through a person's mind or a YouTuber's mind when they made a thumbnail. Uh, what they want to present in it, what was important for them for other people to know, or how they present a message and a topic, how they present it, in what tone, and like they said, with the music or whatever. Most people don't think about these things, but as a YouTuber, you realize and you think, and you understand what went through their head to make these decisions, and you realize, wow, they're actually kind of messed up. And YouTube, in a way, rewards these things. You, you don't get more views for having integrity. That's for sure. And I think that's the thing with Jake and Logan. They they just don't care. They're just extremely goal-oriented and motivated to, to become popular on YouTube and earn money. That's what they want. They're not trying to hide that. It's pretty obvious. They'll do whatever they can to get that. Does that mean they're sociopath? I don't know. Maybe. But it certainly 100% makes them scumbags. Maybe they have some other personality behind the scenes. Maybe they're actually really cool in person. Maybe really chill. But then again, we've seen their action online. Does it really matter? You wouldn't go to a killer and be like, well, maybe he's actually like a really nice person. <laughs> That's a bad example, I, but you understand what I mean. I think what went wrong with this whole video, the whole Shane video, and why I think it's so bad is because apparently Shane didn't tell Katie, I think that's her name, the therapist, that he, this was about Jake Paul. Well, I'll explain later what this all is. <laughs> There's a lot more to it than- Yikes. Apparently, Shane, I, I think he mentioned in the video that he didn't tell her that for originally that this was going to be about Jake Paul. They were just going to sit down and talk about sociopaths. And, uh, you know, she's referring a lot of times in this video uh, about anti-personality disorder. But through editing and the creepy music and all that, it kind of conflicts and it becomes anything. It becomes, it gets mixed up with killers and all kinds of stuff. Uh, and I don't know if that's necessarily her fault as well. And I understand Shane wants to make things creepy. That's what he does. He makes these conspiracy videos. Um, that's how he keeps things interesting. And I can understand that and I can respect that. He does a great job of that. And I also think Katie took off her therapist hat to sort of drop these numbers and facts just to make it more interesting because she knows that's what Shane wanted. Kind of like how Neil deGrasse Tyson drops these science bombs to blow your mind. It's the same kind of thing, and maybe it wasn't deliberate, but these two things playing into each other just made it into, in my opinion, a really bad video, unfortunately. Some topics, you just have to be more careful when you cover them, and maybe not add in creepy music and all these uh, stupid things in the background. I think they realize that now. Uh, that's it, however, for my eight-part series about Shane Dawson. Hope you guys are, are look forward to this. Actually, I might make it a 20-part series. I think we can really uncover some deeper, darker secrets in here. Smash like if you enjoyed this video. Let me know what you guys think. Are you just jealous because Shane gets more views than you? Yeah, 